Egyptian uh, determinative, uh, hieroglyphics, and uh, this specific this specific piece is representative of a male. It's uh, they have one that represents a woman. They have different. A determinative was was a, a picture that was placed beside a word. All the symbols were in some way a, a picture of something, but some pictures were actually were, uh, letters, and you know that created words. And some of the pictures were determinatives, like like this guy here. He was an actual. He this this picture is a determinative, and what that is, if you saw that next to a picture, that would determine what that was, what that word was describing, because a lot of the words sounded the same. See Sounds like you did a lot of uh, a lot of study of I, I Egyptian a, history. I, I read a lot of it in books and stuff like that. I'm not an uh, archaeologist or nothing like that, but I did study a lot in books because I, I love ancient writing and stuff. I think it's beautiful. So I just, uh, I like to draw pictures of it. I always change it up a little bit and make, you know, put my own little, you know, creativity in it. But I love hieroglyphs and, you know, cave uh, pictures and stuff like that. And, uh, so, yeah, I did quite a bit of reading and studying. You know, I read several books on, you know, hieroglyphs and stuff like that just to be able to explain to people when they ask me. This piece here is um, acrylic. Uh, I, I use acrylic mostly, but I, um, I mix medium, so I, I work with oil and I do watercolors also. And you know, when I say mixed media, I sometimes get a little bit out there. I use household paint and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But mostly I use acrylic paint. Mostly that's that's the medium that when all else fails, the acrylic always seems to you know <laughs> do what I need it to do. I've been drawing pictures for as long as I can remember. You know, um, I don't, I don't really have any um, any specific person. I mean, there's a lot of artists out there. I can go on and on about whose art I think is beautiful. But, but to say someone inspired me. Uh, one, one day when I was little, I had a, I, I was drawing a little picture, and my and my uncle Vincent, he saw me drawing, and I was kind of struggling with the with the trying to draw a face of a, of a man, and he actually uh, showed me how to draw a face of a man. And uh, I, if you look at my art today, it still goes back. But I, when you see a face that I draw, it goes back to all those years when I was about six or seven. He showed me how to draw that face of a man. He, that, that, still, that face is still you know, prominent in, my, in the faces and the pictures I draw today. So, so he inspired. That's great. Would you say that for young people, it's important to have a mentor in, in, in it's, it's, something that you're interested in? It is important in? to have a, have a positive role model in your life. You know what I mean? Even if that's not what they're teaching you, it's not going to be exactly what you're going to be doing later on. For somebody to take the time and, 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 uh, and instill something, you know, a value into you or, or take the time to show you how to do something, Positive. That's 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 crucial to me in a, in a young person's life. To have someone take the time and show them how to do something, even if even if they're not gonna, you know, even if that's not gonna be the the one thing that they end up doing for life, but somebody to take the time and, and show them something. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you never stop learning. I learn, I learn stuff. I'm still learning so much stuff. You know what I mean? Um, different artists that I meet, you know, they, I, I listen to them talk, and then there's um, the older artists that are more experienced, and, you know, the wisdom and the know-how, you know, just just the overall experience that they have, uh, you, it, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, to sit there and listen to these guys talk, and you're saying, is that how you do it? You know, and it's so, yeah, I, I can, I'll, I'll never stop learning. I'll never stop learning. For the next, within the next five years, I hope um, to be uh, in my own shop. I want, I want my own little shop, you know, and um, 
I want to sell my art, you know, not, I don't want to sell it out. I'm not trying to be, um, take it and commercialize it and make a whole bunch of prints and, you know what I mean? But I want to, I want to have a shop for people to come in and get original art that they really are inspired by and really, and really love. You know what I mean? I want, I want my art to have that effect on people that it has now, but that I'm not, you know, a household man, but people that like my art, they really like it from the bottom of their heart. And I would like to have a, a spot where people can go and enjoy my art, you know, in about five years. I, I'm pretty sure I'll have that too. Pretty sure. Media. Um, I work with acrylic mostly because that would, acrylic is a is a medium I can pretty much do whatever I want with. But I use oil, I use watercolor. I brought just a couple, just a few pieces today. I've been painting, uh, I guess, seriously for 13 years. And but I've always been an artist. I've always drew, always made some crafts and things like that. Uh, I like a lot of different ancient hieroglyphics and things like that. I use a lot of uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics when I paint. I have a ton of paintings that are actual words, you know, Egyptian words and things like that. Um, the one in the middle, that's not anything of, um, that's not an ancient picture or nothing like that. That's just the relationship. It's <laughs> two people that really quite fond of each other. And uh, that last piece, that's just representative of um, Egypt. Um, Giza or Giza, the uh, Three Pyramids and the Great Sphinx. And uh, I, I, I'm drawn to a lot of Egyptian hieroglyphics. I think it's beautiful. And um, I, I incorporate a lot of that into my art. I'm a freelance artist. I will be giving um, my business cards out. I have some shows that are upcoming. And I mean, I, 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 I like these pieces. I'm proud of these pieces. But what's going to be in those shows I have one coming up October 1st and one coming up in um, March 1st. No, not March 1st, the first Friday of March. I'm not sure what that date is. But uh, get information, get business cards from you all and then, you know, so I can network. So when I do get the location, I can, you know, send you a, uh, send you some information so you guys can get down and see it because it's really going to be a brilliant spectacle. I mean, it's going to be, I'm not saying just because it's mine, but I wouldn't lie to you. It's going to, it's going to be extraordinary. Um, you got to come see it. Thank you for your time.